If somebody was to tell me 27 months ago, or even probably 24 months ago, that things would be where they're at now, I would have just been completely blown away because when I quit drinking, I basically dove right into full-on workaholism mode uh, because I couldn't stand to do anything else. And work is always, you know, I was just writing a thing about this last night and I've been, really been realizing how much work was just another form of addiction and is always going to be a threat to me, I think. Well, maybe not always. I don't want to speak that onto myself, but potentially always going to be another threat for addiction for me. And it's to me, it's, it's, it's a more insidious one because it's something where not a lot of people give you shit about it like they do for drugs and alcohol and other things that are more destructive. Um, there's a lot of validation that comes from it and all these things that come that feed the ego and feed the need for validation and are covering up for insecurities. But it's been, an, it's just, it's been absolutely incredible. Uh, there's been a lot of hard times for sure. This process of learning these things and diving into dealing with you know, I mean, ultimately what the what the essence of this is, is 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 healing and getting into the weeds with things that have happened to you, you that you have left unresolved. And um, going back to what I was saying at the beginning is one of the biggest struggles that I had right from the beginning. One of the biggest struggles I still have is giving myself permission to heal and this is something in my conversations with a lot of people that this is this is something especially in our culture that we really have a hard time with because our priorities are so messed up and there's a lot of messages that are given to us i think especially as men i think this is an issue it tends to be especially in my conversations it seems like men really struggle with this because to dive in and talk about your feelings is something that is viewed as a weakness in our society and it's it's one of those things that really pisses me off. A, because uh, a lot of men don't heal because of that. Suicide is now the leading cause of death among men under the age of 50. And that plays a huge role because men would rather die than feel shame and feel weak. And the one thing that I can tell you about this process of confronting the things about myself that I didn't want to confront and confronting the pains of the past that were left unhealed and then confronting the people that I love the most and having to deal with the pain that I've caused them. There's nothing that I've ever done in my life or that I may ever do for the rest of my life that required as much courage as that. 